Hello everybody, in today's video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going on my art journey once again and I'm going to be stepping outside of my comfort zone, and sort of in two ways this time, is I'm going to be doing figure drawing and I'm also going to be practicing my speed as well, so these two things combined, I'm going to try and hopefully get my speed up by also trying to uh, help reference and get my sort of artistic skill of the sort of the human form and figure in the same sort of way, doing this in very quick succession by the way, so we'll see how that comes out in the video, but the idea of uh, figure drawing is to try and use it as sort of like a quick outline of a sketch as you're drawing it down it's not the not intended to be the final piece it's to try and get the forms in the figure in quick way it's used a lot for uh doing practicing and also for sort of like under drawing for when you're trying to figure out a pose in that sort of situation so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be practicing that so i'm going to be doing uh in time lots of two minutes so all of these drawings will be in sort of two minute successions and then at the end I'm going to pick one of these out I'm going to spend a little bit more time and sort of turn it into more of a final piece so if that sounds interesting let's get into that video and see how well I do under the <laughs> intense amount of pressure I've never sort of timed myself before so this is going to be really interesting to see how well I can do under this very strict time limit of two minutes so let's get into that video shall we so I put in uh, figure drawing practice into YouTube itself and it gives you this nice convenient website to go to where it gives you a list of things you can do and that is sort of like a choose if you want male, fi female figures, clothed, unclothed figures. It gives you a whole list of options as well as also a time limit. So of course I set it to two minutes because that's the time limit I wanted to give myself and I set it to clothed of course because we don't want any uh, uncensored versions here on YouTube I don't need any of that trouble on my channel right now so well as you can see here the first thing I did was immediately click that button and then I sat there wondering what to do under this two minute time limit and I was really <laughs> I just didn't know what to do I was so struggling there but that's one of the things that I did uh, want to practice of course is to get my speed and try and uh, focus a bit more because as you've seen straight away there as I press that button looked around for a few minutes and, <laughs> and or even a few seconds I should say and then then I realized oh damn I've got a timer I better go <laughs> and then I started drawing because uh, one of the things with uh, especially doing this, this is my first time doing it is I didn't know where to start or anything like that you I've seen videos on YouTube of these other people doing it and they have this great form and they they sketch away and it looks like a figure in no time at all and I was just struggling to know what to do here so one of the things with figure drawing is that can be one, one of the <laughs> of course the things that can immediately you just become like a deer in headlights and you have no idea what to do but eventually I decided okay I'm going to go for sort of how I roughly come in with figure drawing just in general and how I try and practice like you know a stick figure underneath and try and get it posed out and of course the other thing I have on here is because all these figures were clothed I don't usually draw clothed figures at the moment because I'm trying to focus on drawing uh, anatomy and trying to get like the body shape right and stuff like that so immediately the the first one I click on it has this nice flowing dress and everything on it um I don't know how to draw clothing that well and that's going to be a future video sort of thing so i was immediately stunned and shocked there as you can see on my face i was going oh no i've got clothes the there's body parts covered up i can't see the figure properly but i was like hey i've just got to go in and do it and you can see that i have a sort of a very very rough shape and design on there and you can see that that there is the time and it's all up already so one of the other things that I noticed that I was doing here is I also drew the pictures quite big. I was going to do a couple of them to a page and I was, I was sort of going to go, I'll fill up a couple of pages and draw some time lapse of me over that. And I thought, no, I want to come in with the raw sort of footage and of that two minute timer and show you what you can sort of, well, what I can at least accomplish in that two minutes. The other thing too is uh, I had them all on my phone beside me. If I had a thought about a little bit and I had a known a little bit more of the app, which I definitely got to know a little bit more of it by the end, is that you can actually save the photos um, to use as reference later on and you can have them without the timer uh, and stuff like that to use in your own sort of time without any of these restrictions so what I should have done is I should have saved all of these pictures and then I could have put them right beside me on the screen here and then that way you would have been able to see them a little bit clearer than my glaring phone with the lights that I have above me so I can get a little bit better footage on camera but instead it's just glaring straight into that phone you probably can't get a great 
look at what I'm trying to draw because it looks a little bit dark on there so I'll try and see if I can find them I, I don't know if I will be able to because the thing is sort of like a randomly generated images and I don't think I can look through them but I will try my best to see if I can but the other um, thing is is that one at the end uh, that I do is that's when I figure out that I can actually save the photo when I want to spend a little bit more time is because I paused it um, and I had a look a little bit more on the app as I kept the picture there and it gave me the option too so in the very last one at least where I spend all the time like I said at the uh, intro of the video is I want to pick one of these to uh, draw and spend that little bit more time on to see if I can really give you something nice to show at the end of the piece there and as you can see right now immediately it cuts to the next one and I wasn't ready for it so I automatically have to go to that next page and then when I flip to the the next page and I get ready to start this one as I realize this one is completely covered in this big trench coat where he has a book in front of him all this heavy clothing on him that I was not prepared for I wish I had just a little bit more specification saying I could have uh, like uh, less clothing on because when I want to focus on clothing is this would be a great time to do that sort of thing about like I said, uh, I'm starting to practice my figure drawing and I want to get the uh, body types and anatomy down first before I start drawing uh, clothing and stuff on top of that. I guess it's sort of limiting me though in my drawing at the moment, but I want to really work on getting the uh, anatomy a lot better than what I do and so I can understand uh, how clothing sort of goes on top of uh, the characters that you're trying to draw here. So a little bit of a shock for me and I forgot that... Uh, I specified that it can have clothes on it but I was guess I just wasn't prepared for it to have a whole heap of clothing especially heavy clothing like jackets and items uh, all holding on I, I'm guessing there's probably uh, other sources online that you can go to where they're probably wearing sort of like uh, uh, underwear or like very tight uh, suits so you can get a lot more of that uh, figure anatomy down uh, but this was just like I said I went into Google I typed in uh, figure drawing practice and it gave me this uh, website to go to and that's what I went on for that and I'm still perfectly fine and happy with that uh, and also like I said I was trying to go out of my comfort zone in here and it definitely did <laughs> and also giving me that two minute timer really was rushing me I'm panicking the entire time through it I don't know if it's coming off on camera maybe I look like I'm doing okay but trust me and this inside I'm going oh no oh no oh no So it was at this point in using the app where I found out that I could actually pause and start the timer when I needed to and I could even switch back and go back and forth between the poses if I wanted to go back to one. So that was uh, a learning experience like I said at the start of it. I was when I first went onto this app I probably should have played around with it a little bit more before uh, getting onto it but this one here is going to be the one that I'm going to pick out at the end to uh, go in and spend that extra time on there to uh, really sort of enhance it and show that I can get the figures down and you, they're great for using as a base template that you get down the speed and you get that gesture and the figure all mapped out and then you can spend some time into doing the details but it's all about sort of rushing yourself and getting the energy of the uh, poses and the figure itself and not focusing too much on the details because one thing that I can do is I can spend too much detail on the face and that and you've forgotten to draw the feet for instance so this is to get you to focus all over the place and focus on the actual silhouette of the entire piece before getting into the details where you should be spending the time at the end after you have your base foundation set down so like I said this is going to be the one that I'm going to spend that little bit more time on and you can see even uh, in this since I spent those previous steps on here and this one here is more of a bodysuit and it's got no clothing on it yet is I'm getting the figure down a lot better as I sort of am understanding and reading it uh, very quickly but also understanding where the anatomy is because that's what I've been sort of practicing uh, off camera and in my own time as I've been trying to get that figure uh, correct and trying to get proportions and stuff like that as accurate as I can and I think that this picture really helped me out here and then this is of course going to be the one that I'm going to spend that extra time on. So as I was just saying, this one here is going to be the one that I'm going to spend that extra time on. And I would say in total, 
of uh, what I did here and adding in that extra more detail. So what I'm of course going to do is I'm going to put a time lapse over here. I'm not going to bother about putting in the full thing. I want to put in the full drawing process of each one of those two minute uh, videos and sort of snapping them together to show you exactly what I could do within that two minute time limit and that restraint. But this one here, since I'm doing it as the uh, final piece and I'm trying to enhance it and show where you're supposed to carry on with the figure drawing steps if you want to take it to that next level after you've gotten your base uh, template and form down from the uh, gesture drawing uh, figure drawing session so uh, what i'm going to do here is spend that extra little bit of time i think what it ended up by doing because i accidentally uh, didn't notice that my camera sort of just stopped recording a little bit at the end there is i probably spent in total uh, 10 minutes overall in the entirety of the piece so that's the two minutes at the start then i spend the next basically eight minutes here uh, adding on to the piece and really trying to help refine it and get it sketched in and just following that uh, picture that i have to go off there and i think this was a great benefit to me since like i said i'm studying uh, the anatomy and proportions and that at the moment off camera to try and help give my people my figures my characters uh the the what i really want to try and aim for and that sort of thing so this one really helped benefit that uh with giving it this uh, sleek body suit and a nice sort of new neutral simple pose for me to do well, i must say i don't really draw a pose like that very often so that was actually interesting as well that just getting that but i was actually very surprised with how it came out so with all that what we'll do now is we'll go into those nice uh, glamour shots I guess at the end of my final sketch and we'll leave it there shall we and there you have it there is my finalized revised sketch and sort of enhanced that spend that little bit of extra time in there and a total of 10 minutes of drawing time with doing this uh, figure drawing study so I hope this has given you some inspiration whether you want to give drawing a try and you can see how little time it takes if you really want to or see how stressed out I was while doing this challenge the whole entire time in my head but with all that guys I'd like to thank you all for watching and I can't wait to see you all in the next video